Okay, most times when we talk about respect, some persons will actually think that we're talking about greetings, exchanging pleasantries and all those stuff. So yes, it's part of it though, but today I'm actually here to tell you about self-respect. There's an adage that actually says that respect is reciprocal. That if you respect someone, someone else will respect you. And that is why I am here today to tell you 10 good ways to respect yourself. If you're new here, please consider subscribing if you like my channel. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much and God bless you. I'm very, very happy to have you back. Okay, there are 10 good ways to respect yourself. And the first is know your worth understand your value if you don't know your worth if you don't even understand yourself there is no way someone out there will respect you but when you know your worth when you understand your value there's someone out there who will be able to respect you two set boundaries clearly define what you accept and what you don't have limits for everything like let there be limits you know most persons will say oh when i meet a guy or when i meet a lady who are still at our talking stage please in the period or in the course of that talking stage set your boundaries make it clear to whomever that is involved define it clearly that these are my do's and these are my don'ts so that the person would actually understand you and respect your boundaries three reduce how you visit some persons especially if those persons do not reciprocate this particular one is very very important yes there are a lot of people that will say I love visiting people I love hanging out I love this I love that it's fine but I actually believe that a person with a little circle of friends is always very very secure than that person that has a very large circle of friends yes i said so so that takes me to number four don't let other people's opinion control you that's very very important at times most people let people's opinion about them control them oh what is this person thinking about me what is she saying about me what does she think about me it doesn't really matter as long as you know that what you're doing is good, what you're doing is right, whatsoever anybody thinks about you, whatsoever it's anybody's opinion about you, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. And when you cultivate that attitude in you, trust me, whomever or anybody around you will find out that you have this, there's this level of confidence in you. That whatever they think, whatever they do, does not even shake you at all. So don't even allow people's opinion control you. Number five, stop entertaining gossip about other people. You see this particular part? I know that most people love to, you know, hear things about their fellow humans and all that. It's good. But please, always know when it is gossip. Once it comes to gossip, just pull off. Because that person that is coming to tell you or oh, that this person said this or that person said that or this is what happened and this is what didn't happen, trust me, whatever you're telling that person at that moment, that person is going back to take it to someone else to say, oh, that this person said this and this person said that. Now, someone will say, how do I stay away from gossip? Someone may actually come to you and start telling you things that you didn't even ask him or her about. What do you do? You shush your bush. Yes, like my daughter would say, shush your bush. Just do what? Look and listen. Don't say anything. Don't even ask questions. Because when you start asking questions, that person will be like, oh, she's interested in my story. She wants to know more and keeps feeding you with more stories. Tomorrow, he will go out there and, and get more stories and come and tell you. You ask more questions. He picks your own and go out there and tell people so stop entertaining gossip about other people number six be a giver more than a receiver yes if you have it please give be more of a giver than a receiver 
and there's this thing i would like to share with us in this video in as much as someone gives to you once in a while try to also give to that person that gives to you no matter how little i don't know if you understand me don't always be at the receiving end once in a while no matter how rich that person is now i'm going to tell us a story there was something that actually happened that was last year christmas in my house um a guy called my husband and he said i want to come and visit you i want to come and you know give you a little christmas gift and my husband called me and he said look someone just called me this boy just called me this young man just called me sorry and he said he wants to come and give me a christmas gift and i was like really because to be very honest people find it difficult to give to people that they feel oh this person is better than i am uh, he should be the one giving me so we found it so weird like nobody has actually given to us we are always at the giving end but trust me do you know when, when that young guy came we really appreciated the gift and it made me to understand that no matter how rich someone is if you gift that person i believe that that person will appreciate it most of them may not use that thing but trust me they really do appreciate it. number seven do not go to where you are not invited and when you are invited please do not overstay your welcome very important please when you go out oh i was invited to a place fine time yourself i'll be here for 30 minutes i'll be here for one hour and i'll just leave don't overstay just time yourself and just leave it shows how decent or how disciplined or how respectful you are to yourself number eight be good in what you do and be the best and how can you be the best in what you do one dedication discipline focus consistency a lot of them once you know what you're good in yes initially you may start rough if you ask all these good businessmen men of god you know career women and career men they will tell you that they started rough initially the first few years wasn't so good for them but after some time they picked up and why did they pick up because they never gave up number nine if they don't tell you don't ask mm -hmm. you heard me right if they don't tell you do not what ask just stay on your lane because i've seen most people when you don't tell them about something they start asking and before you start asking you now you now can carry grace you know what <laughs> the yoruba is called grace you carry grace i put on your head because they say curiosity kills the what kills the cat if that person seems or sees you as an important person the person should come to you and talk to you about it but if the person doesn't come to you and tell you my dear please do not ask just dare your day be on your what on your lane and finally in my number 10 invest in yourself and stay happy yes the other day i was watching a celebrity and she said to herself when the interviewer asked her what is your greatest achievement and she said her greatest achievement was investing in her music her music in quotes so that is her greatest what investment so invest in yourself and what stay happy yes i know a lot of things have been happening and a lot of persons are not happy but we move we move we keep begging god for the grace to be what to be happy so if you find this video useful please give me a thumbs up and if you are yet to subscribe Biko Ejo I don't know how to speak out that <laughs> oh, please subscribe to my channel and comment down below and see my next video please stay safe wherever you are I love you bye